Hey everyone, my name is Adam and I am pre-sales consultant at Stormit. Stormit as an AWS Advanced Partner can help you make the most of what AWS Cloud has to offer. Today we will take a look at a new feature in Application Load Balancer that helps you create CloudFront distribution together with AWS Web Application Firewall. So let's look a little bit deeper. So here I have all AWS Edge services. Today we will use CloudFront CDN, which can help you cache the content at the, in the Edge. And we will also use Route 53 uh, as DNS service and AWS WAF as a firewall. And all of this I will show in the AWS Management Console. And here is an infrastructure diagram. Uh, we will deploy services uh, via a new feature in application load balancer. Everything will be encrypted with HTTPS also. So if this something if this is something interesting to you, let's go to AWS Management Console. So I'm in the AWS Management Console and first thing what I want to show you is that I have one running EC2 instance uh, that is accessible through the internet and I have uh, Apache web server there. It's just uh, for a demo, it doesn't matter if it's Apache or something else. Uh, it's more about uh, using Load Balancer together with a new feature, which will help you to create CloudFront distribution together with a AWS Web Application Firewall. Uh, just uh, let me check one thing because we will need it. Uh, this uh, instance is in US East 1A. And first thing that I want to do is uh, to create a target group. Uh, let's create a new one and uh, this will be called uh, let me up Apache and it will be on port 80. Uh, I know we want to use HTTPS together with uh, our EC2 instance, but we will achieve this in the load balancer. And this is where, where the HTTPS will also terminate. So we can use HTTP to, to communicate with the EC2 instance. And uh, that's all. Uh, let's uh, select the right uh, instance, which is this one and let's include it as pending below and create a target group and we have we have a new target group uh, so we want to create a new load balancer so get uh, let's go to load balancers and create a new load balancer which will be application load balancer and this is where we will find a new feature and let's call it again apache it doesn't matter and that's why I wanted to check availability zone of the EC2 instance, which was 1A. Uh, load balancer is uh, capable of using many availability zones together, but the minimum is two. So let's select 1A and 1B. Uh, it, it doesn't really matter for this demo. But if, if you, for example, have an auto scaling group or something, uh, you will need multiple availability zones. And what I want to do next is to create a new listener here. And this will be for HTTPS and port 443. And uh, let's select our target group, which is up Apache. And what I also want to do is to create the HTTP listener because we will not need it. So let's remove it right now. I will explain it a little bit later how we will achieve the redirection. And uh, next thing that we definitely need for HTTPS is a certificate. I already have a certificate in Amazon Certificate Manager, but if you need one, just go to Certificate Manager or click here and go to the process of creating a certificate. Just make sure that you are doing everything in the right region. And also for CloudFront, you will need definitely a certificate in North Virginia. So if, for example, your load balance is in Ireland, create a certificate uh, in Ireland, but also create a certificate in North Virginia. It, it doesn't cost you anything. 
the main point of this is the cloud front it has a like a place where where it stores its certificates uh, is in North Virginia. So for cloud front you need a certificate here, and that's everything here. And next thing that we will need to do is to use the new feature, uh, which is here or here, and it's an Amazon Cloud Front plus AWS Web Application Firewall. Uh, just I want to make sure that you understand the pricing first. So Web Application Firewall is also definitely will cost you something because there is no free tier right now but cloudfront itself has a great free, uh, free tier of one terabyte of data transfer out and 10 million of requests so cloudfront probably for smaller application will be free but aws web application firewall has its own pricing so check that somewhere and make sure you understand that before you will run into problems and Let's apply this application layer acceleration and security protection together with the load balancer. And one great thing that you can check here is the benefits and considerations. But also there is a security best practice which came uh, from well architected uh, framework is to add a security group to load balancer to ensure your HTTPS listener allows inbound traffic from CloudFront. But you can allow also only traffic from CloudFront. So nobody will be able to access the load balancer itself or also the EC2, but the EC2 itself has a different security group. So make sure that you will set that too. Uh, but we will want to add a security group to the load balancer. And what we can then do is to remove the default one because we don't want to use the default one and only use uh, this new security group that will be created by, by this rule. I will check that a little bit later to explain. Also, I will go to CloudFront and WAF uh, itself so you understand what is there and what you can do there. There is also a possibility to only add AWS Web Application Firewall. If you, for example, don't want to use CloudFront CDN, you can add it here, which again is really like a quick way how to create WAF for this load balancer. Just make sure that you understand the pricing of Web Application Firewall and how it works. So let's create a load balancer. And it should be pretty quick, uh, so let's let's wait. And it's done, okay. And now I want to check a couple of things here. So first thing uh, that we want to check is uh, where where is actually the integration right now. And there is a tab called integrations, and you can find an information for cloud phone and web application firewall which is really useful you can click through right away to the distribution or to the security dashboard in the distribution and WAF. Uh, so yeah this this is where you will find the information and also what i want to check is the security tab here which will show us the uh, security group for this load balancer uh, which is now uh, just opened to the cloud from distribution just for you to understand uh, this uh, this whole thing will not change a security group in the instance so just make sure that also in the instance you set it the proper way which is uh, to set it to only allow uh, traffic from the load balancer so this is the best option just basically you will uh, you, you don't have to use port 43 because all traffic will be on port 80 and you can just change uh, basically the source to the security group of the load balancer itself and uh, it should work and uh, i will not do that right now uh, let's let's close these tabs and uh, just check i want to check a couple of things i want to go to cloudfront uh, just for you to understand how the cloudfront uh, 
works right now and you can you can actually find it in the distributions and uh, there will be something what uh, have a description of default one click cloud from distribution and you can click to it and go for example to behaviors which is the main thing i want to show you and as you can see all uh, of these file types uh, are cat caged uh, by default if you want to change anything in the behaviors it's possible just uh, check what are behaviors how they work but basically how they work uh, here is the default behavior that will work for any other file type uh, path or anything else on the on the actual load balancer and uh, it will not cache uh, the the <clears throat> the stuff it will only cache these files you can check that also you can change it uh, and there is also an origin part which will be the load balancer and that's all <laughs> what i want to check also for you is the valve itself uh, so let's go to valve and to the right region which is global cloud front and here will be one web acl uh, called created by ALB and uh, as you can see here are really useful stuff for you but I want to make sure that you understand what are the defaults here and uh, here are the default rules which is uh, Amazon IP reputation list here are uh, rules for common rule set and known bad inputs uh, you can you can check that yourself in documentation but let me just go to them pretty quickly uh, this rule basically blocks uh, any of these ips that have a bad reputations that are that were used for ddos in the past and there is also some specialist you cannot go through the real list and change something but if you will see any problems you are able to edit the rule or even remove the valve from the cloud front so it's it's still possible to do everything manually you can also create a new rule here which can be useful for example if you want to block uh, some kind of like country for example if you want to block some countries from accessing your website or the web server you can you can add any rule here there is also something con called common rule set uh, which i will just quickly open and here you can see what what are common rule sets uh, there is some size restrictions in the euro part that you can block if they they are basically bad for for the website traffic uh, sometimes this can make problems to to the website traffic so just make sure uh, that you understand it at, at least a little bit what is happening in the VAF uh, <coughs> how you will see the error uh, if if uh, anything is blocked by VAF it should be like 403 error uh, which will say something it's blocked by the cloud from distribution and you are not able to access the website and this this will be basically the VAF doing the work for you uh, so this is WAF and CloudFront and I just want to make sure that you understand also other thing how to connect the root 53 or any other DNS but I'm using root 53 to the uh, CloudFront distribution so let's go to the hosted zones where I have my uh, domain name and let's create a new record uh, it can be uh, basically this one I, I can use na naked domain and here we should be able to find the cloud from distribution uh, you can check that but i only have one only one cloud from distribution so this is the one and let's create a record uh, so it's a record with alias to cloud from distribution and create a record and uh, okay so let's test it out if it works uh, so it should be link. And as you can see, it works. Uh, one thing that I want to check also, and we'll provide more information about this, is the redirect from HTTP to HTTPS, uh, which should work. Yeah, it, it works. And why? Because we removed the listener on the load balancer for port, port 80, so we are not redirecting it in the load balancer. But it, it 
working uh, automatically in CloudFront. I will show you where you will find this. Uh, in the CloudFront, when I go to behaviors and the default behavior here, uh, you can uh, you can find it here. As you can see, there is redirect HTTP to HTTPS, and also if you need something around allowed HTTP methods, you will find it here and other options uh, that I will not describe. So let's cancel it, and that's all uh, in the AWS Management Console for this demo. So that's all for today. Reach out to us with any questions or comments and visit our website stormy.cloud, subscribe to this channel and like this video. Thanks.